All right, my friends. Well, I'm at Whiskey Business in Covington, Tennessee, doing a nighttime hunt. Uh, I've been crazy busy with work and haven't had a chance to uh, really get out and do any hunting. And, uh, you know, got a beautiful sunset. And I think I'm going to do six bottles that everybody should own because everybody loves list videos. So I'm going to do the hunt, but I'll just point out six bottles I think you should own. Let's check it out. Well, I can tell you right away, uh, I'm going to pick six. Uh, Six bottles you should own. I, I, everyone should have at least one store pick. And uh, uh, I think you find a store that you like, you trust their palette, and you get these. Uh, this Knob Creek, it's uh, it's fantastic. So I, a lot of stores have this specific one right now. I'm a big fan of the Knob Creek store pick. And then also over here, this old Dominic, which is gonna be, uh, uh, I, I've already tried it here, it's, it's fantastic. So. One bottle I think you should pick, you should have a store pick that you're proud of, that you've got to try beforehand. You know, generally the stores will get those and they'll be like, they, they get together as a group, maybe, maybe have a, a team of people get together and they go through several bottles and this is, let me show it again, Whiskey Business. How cute is that, Glenn? I gotta see if I can get me a Glenn over here. Technically a store pick, Jack Daniels. So that's one bottle. I would just say a bottle in general, which should be a store pick. So. I feel like everybody should have a shelf or two. Uh, Jack Daniels or, and they've got a ton of new stuff in here. So I'll go kind of slow through here. Got an air vent that's kind of blowing kind of loud right there. There's a the Calumet. Let's see the proprietor. Got the McKenna. I got a, just got a ball of that. through here and just do like the some people have been asking about the, the different bar sound still don't know what's going on with those guys if anybody's heard are they going out of business or there's someone gonna buy them I'm sure someone's gonna buy them but cause they've done too well still waiting on the Woodford uh, uh, the double oak store pick that's gonna hit here town soon uh, I love this one too uh, here's a good example of uh, going across the full spectrum here so we got this store pick here got the 18 and the 9. I don't know that this has an age statement on it. Uh, I won't, uh, I think it's six years, maybe. I can't, you know, I can't see. I don't, I can't read. I have my glasses, but I can't really tell. So, so I've got two uh, I picked so far. A shelfer, you know, Elijah Craig, uh, you know, a Knob Creek 9, a Woodford. You get a big bottle of it. I'll pick another, another big bottle out there. Kind of something that you can do to mix cocktails. Somebody, maybe somebody doesn't. Uh, can you believe I still have not tried any mixers? Um, you know, you get a bottle that maybe someone hadn't had that is looking for something. I mean, I've, I've, or some, you know, someone wants a cocktail. They don't want just to drink their whiskey neat. Which I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that. But every once in a while, somebody wants to make a cocktail. I've been kind of experimenting with trying to do some cocktails myself. Let's see. This is the 2023. Yeah. Bullets, another good one. Um, now, I'm not a fan of rye. Uh, I like peppery rye. I don't like minty rye. Matter of fact, if someone says, "Hey, uh, another great one of the six. Um, if they say, "Hey, I, you know, I, I've got a, uh, I love rye, or I've got a rye," first words out of my mouth are, "Is it minty?" Because if it's minty, I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, you know, old For old Forester is another good one. Uh, you know, we got the, the knockoff birthday blend is a is a great one to to get. Let's see here. Got the old Jim Beam. This will probably be the only stag we see today. Stag's kind of dried up a little bit around here. Uh, no dunkers. So I've gotten two so far. Got the Maker's Mark. Got a store pick. So I said a store pick and a general a general bottle of, of something that you kind of like. We got the Wild Turkey 101. Another one of the just the big handles. I, I, I did a video where I went through and was just kind of picking out the best big handles. Um, you know, I think you... Uh, Another good choice is to uh, uh, in in the Jack Daniels family here. They have uh, they have the single barrel select. They have the rye and some of these other ones. Another good bottle to, to try to get and try to get what you want to get. I don't know that I've had any. I've not seen that before. Old Dominic, that single barrel, so good. The bottle bottled by all of this stuff is their stuff. It's no longer the MGP. The MGP stuff is the holding station. Now they're kind of getting into their own thing. New Rip, a lot of people really like that. I had some of the, oh, there's the Founders. That's what everybody wants to talk about. 
It's the anniversary plan. I only got one bottle here. I think everybody needs a, uh, a bottle of Buffalo Trace. That's separate from the other, uh, the Shelfer, and a bottle of probably uh, a bottle of Weller. So let's see what we got. Um, a store pick, a Shelfer, get you a bottle of Buffalo Trace, and uh, some some form of Weller. This could be argued, could be an argue that it could be a, a Shelfer. And no bar is complete without Evan Williams' bottle of Bond, the Hunter Proof. You should have that bottle 100%. I hear good things about this, too. Let's go through here and see. Jim Beam Single Barrel. Heard a lot of people talking about that. Uh, I don't know. If uh, you have enough room in your cabinet for, uh, for a, a manly bottle with that big a belt on it, you should try to probably get that one. Uh, Redemption's on sale. I've seen Redemption... For sale in a lot of places. Uh, my buddy's uh, story time, and I think they're going to be having a strain of hands pick coming out. That's going to be exciting. Pendleton. Everybody should have mellow corn in there. We'll make that bottle number four. Straight up sipping. They're uh, some friends of ours. They have a connection to that creek water. Deadwood's uh, on sale too. I do want to give a shout out to as many people as I possibly can. Uh, Matt from Whiskey Wisdom. If you're not following Matt from Whiskey Wisdom, Wisdom, uh, straight up sipping, uh, old fashioned ways plus plus, uh, Bourbon School, uh, Sean from Echoes of Eternity, Carlos from uh, Whiskey Wisdom. I mean Whiskey <laughs> Whiskey Corner. Um, I think uh, R.J. the Fed who helps on the Discord, uh, who does a fantastic job of, of help, helping me moderate. Uh, it, it would not the channel would not have the success it has without uh, RJ being in there and he has a channel he's like at 480 all of these guys if you're if you're here watching uh, my videos uh, these guys do in-depth uh, uh, videos on, on what each individual bottles do and how they taste and things like that I'm not very good at that I'm going to start trying to make some of those videos I expected them to do terrible but here it's one of the few places that you can get the soft red wheat bottle in bond and the Rick House proof here so that's pretty exciting so Chicken, you know what? We got the Jack Daniels. We got the rye down here. And Cooper's Craft, that's another bottle. And then, of course, every bottle should have Old Granddad 114. I think that's bottle number five. I'll try to recap as I go through and I'll pick the other bottle. I already know what the other bottle is. I, I think that you should have uh, that Ancient Age and that JW Dan. Those are just great. Another shelfer bottle that would be great for mixing. Uh, Old fashions or whatnot on there. I'll tell you what bottle would not be good. It'd be the G uh, uh, Rose one. I would have Kentucky Tavern in there, but I'll have Kentucky Tavern on every bar I ever have because that's just my dad. But that's not one I would necessarily recommend. That's more sentimental. We got the uh, got the Canadian stuff here for Canadian Chris. Love this uh, bottle. I think that if you're going to have a bar, a bar or six bottles you should have, you should have a good scotch. Now, I'm a huge fan of this Lagavulin 16. It's one of my favorites. It's peated. It's from Isla. Fantastic. I hear good things about this 18. Uh, I don't think they currently have the Macallan share. Oh, they do. Uh, and this is the other bottle. So if you were gonna, if I was gonna pick a scotch, I'd either have the Macallan 12. If you don't like peat, if you do like peat. The Lagavulin 16. So those are some of my favorite six bottles that I would have, or I do have the majority of those uh, in, in my uh, in my bar that you should own. Let me see if I can go through here. I'll try to recap and see if I can remember what, what we've got there. John Bar, and I heard that he's going to add uh, Remus and uh, uh, Remus and something else I uh, can't remember what the other one is oh 13 colonies is coming here to is coming out as well you might want to add something fun for somebody who's comes over to your house and you want to give them something that's uh, maybe you want to make a if you like coffee or <laughs> banana pudding or any of those other things uh, you might want to add a bottle of that that's not something I would probably do uh, but that you know do it do what makes you happy that, that's the important thing uh, an addendum is uh, maybe at six whiskey bottles we should have, but I think you should also have a good bottle of tequila in here as well. Um, 
you know, I'm going to, I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to pick that bottle right there because I have it. Uh, it's a good little, good little bottle for, uh, sipping or mixing. I see a lot of people take this and turn it into lamps. I've not had any, so I assume the juice is good and not just a pretty bottle. So you'll have to tell me. Uh, the Discord's doing great. I said that already. Uh, really, uh, we love to help each other hunt. Uh, that stuff's on sale, so I don't know if it's any good or not. So if you are looking to hunt and you're looking for uh, in, in a specific city or country uh, and you don't see it, let me know. I'll, I'll start a channel and you guys can uh, help uh, help yourselves and uh, and help each other hunt. Pretty bottle. Not so, not so pretty good in taste in there, so... All right, I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna see their tater shell. I guess uh, maybe if you don't want a scotch, you don't think that you want to get a scotch, maybe you want to uh, come over and get a. Uh, I'm trying not to. Uh, I'm trying not to get employees in here. Here's another store pick, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna give her plenty of warning that I'm coming over there to there so she can uh, not be on camera. All right. So if you do, if you do, uh, if you can get a tater bottle. I recommend, and these are not taters everywhere. It's the E. H. Taylor and the Eagle Rare. Uh, you know that bottle looks pretty on the shelf right there. So everybody likes that. Oh, they got the 107 and the Weller 12 here. Never actually had the Weller 12. You got the 121.1 Kentucky Par. I just had some of the Bookers last night, and then you got the Bombangers and Shanks. The old Rip Van Winkle 10. You got the Van Winkle 12. The Old Gorge. And they got the Jack Daniels 10 and 12. So, oh, let me try to get up there and get a little better job of doing that. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to try to cut it short and not be too long of a video. Uh, those are my six, seven ish bottles I think you should own. Uh, I'll go back through them again real quick. Uh, store pick of some kind. I recommend Old Dominic or the Knob Creek right now. Uh, you need a big shelf bottle like a big Jack Daniels or uh, you know an ancient age or wild turkey uh, maybe not ancient age and wild turkey should be said in the same so at three or four get you a, a big bottle of Evan Williams you know maybe get you a, a slightly elevated bottle for you know maybe the Woodford Reserve or one of the higher ends up there uh, definitely get you a scotch and uh, just have a good time so all right, guys, this is a nighttime hunt. It's kind of a spur of the moment thing. Uh, just, I was like, I haven't hunted in a few days and I really wanted to get out. I do want to say thank you so much for all that you do for me. Uh, I just hit 5,200 subscribers tonight. I couldn't do it without you guys. You guys are the reason I keep doing these, these video, hunt videos because you enjoy them so much. And uh, really all the stuff that we do on the Discord, helping each other out as well. Uh, you know, if you want to, I, I don't think I've ever said the, if you look, read in the description, there's a lot of information in there and how to get to the discord. Just click on the link in there and you can go. All right, my friends. Uh, once again, just, Hey, look, there's that handsome guy way down there. It's Elijah.